1067 First News at 5. Good evening. The Easy Pass changed the old system of stopping at toll booths, getting a ticket, and stopping to pay when you exit a toll road. Now, another new modernization is coming along the Ohio Turnpike. Some of you have seen it already. First News anchor Stan Boney explains what's going on. He's live along the road. Well, I am standing tonight, Dave, right along the Ohio Turnpike. Uh, this is mile marker 211. A lot of people might recognize that the bridge that they see behind me, they've watched it go up, they've watched it be built, and they're thinking that sometime come the middle part of September that this bridge will actually begin to use as part of the tolling operation along the Turnpike. Joining me here tonight are two people, both Youngstown area natives. To my left is Chris Matta. He's the chief engineer of the Ohio Turnpike. To my right is Lori Davis. Davis. He's the, she's the director of tolling operations. Chris is from Brookfield, a graduate of Youngstown State. Lori still lives in Youngstown, graduate of South High School. Chris, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit what we're seeing behind us and why this is important to the future of the Turnpike. Well, here in Newton Falls, we're uh, here at one of our four new mainline tolling facilities that feature both open road tolling and conventional toll lanes. What this will allow is our customers with Easy Pass is to travel across the state nonstop at highway speed, 70 miles an hour. Now you still have tickets, right? Then people that have tickets will have to stop here when they come through, correct? That is correct. We have uh, about a 73 percent penetration rate of Easy Pass customers, so that means we still have a lot of ticket uh, using customers out there, and, and we need to be able to take care of them. So there'll still be plenty of toll booth uh, uh, toll booths for them to make their transactions. Do you expect this to be more efficient? Absolutely, absolutely. At all of the uh, entry and exit points at a turnpike, uh, the lanes that are dedicated for easy pass use will have the gates removed. So those vehicles will be able to roll through at 10 miles an hour without stopping at all. All right, let's go to Lori and talk about the tolling part of this operation. You're not getting rid of any toll booth operators. We're still going to have them, right? Yes, that is not our intentions to get rid of any toll booth operators. Our toll collections we, we, you can have, you have the ability to pay here with uh, cash or credit and a combination of toll collectors and, and automatic toll payment machines. Do you think this will be better for the people traveling through? I do. I, I believe that they can go straight through the middle, 70 miles an hour, like Chris said, where they have easy pass um, on the exit side, and they can still have the flexibility of seeing our toll collectors as well as machines. Now, you're so. going to have machines, you're going to have easy pass, you're also going to have cameras, too, so people, they will catch them and build them, correct? Absolutely, yes. It's, it's for our violators, those people who happen to get in the easy pass lane without easy pass, then yes, they will be captured, license plate, and they will be built. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lori. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks for being with us. Uh, coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11, we'll go through a little bit more specifically how this whole system works. Number one, if you're going to be traveling from stop to stop around Youngstown, toll booth to toll booth, you'll actually be able to do it for free. But there's also a charge that you may not know about. And we'll tell you about that coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live along the Ohio Turnpike, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.